Hey guys, welcome back to this beautiful day. It's a pretty important day because today we're gonna go and get out my pretty much my pride and joy. Uh, it's been a car that I've had since I was 16. I did a lot of work to it and it's been cooped up for I think seven months since October. Now it's like May. So I think today's the day that we're gonna go do some maintenance on it and get it out on the road. So, so we're at the first stop of the day, stopping at Seve to pick up some fuel. And then we'll be on to Canadian Tire and then probably Tim's get food. So, pretty much full on this truck. Just letting you know everybody. It takes about, it was 78 liters, and here in Saskatchewan, we're at 79 cents a liter. So, I don't know what that is in Canada, where other places in Canada, but for 78 liters, we only pay 62 bucks for a regular. Uh, for you American guys, there's four liters in a gallon. So pretty much if you go 80 cents times four, it's about $3.20 here in Canada for fuel. For premium, it's 99 cents. So yeah, it's time to get the car out, get it running, drive it, get all the projects out. So on to our next place. And I just spilled my drink everywhere. Um, go to Canadian Tire, get oil, get spark plugs. Probably the new paper towels now. I really need to get a cup holder in this truck. And the worst is it's freaking red, so it's gonna stain everything. So I got back from Canadian Tire. It was pretty crazy in there. I think we waited in line for like 20, 25 minutes. Uh, I got extra oil for the car, just in case I need some more. I got a filter and some oil for this truck. Got spark plugs to replace my old ones. I think I'm gonna go up and heat range because I have the spark plugs built for before to boost it but right now it's na so i'm gonna go back to a hotter for na hopefully they work i don't know if these are the same ones i had before so we'll have to see and then i got a pen link so we'll get to the storage room or i guess the storage uh garage and i'll show you my pride joy So we're here at the storage, and here she is, in her all dirty and busted glory. Yeah, she's pretty dusty. Like I said, she's been sitting for, well, seven, six, I don't know, months since October. So she's pretty dusty, time to get her out washed. So as you can see, it's not the stock motor. It's an LS swapped, it's got some goodies. Gotta get a tire inflator, inflate that tire. But first thing we gotta do, gotta get a battery in it. Hold the battery for the winter. And when I was here about a couple months ago, I noticed, I don't know if you can see, but rat nest. And well, I came here, I put, you know, sticky. Pulled that one out to put sticky, sticky, you know, try to keep the rats out. I like to mention the whole Irish Spring myth, it does not work. As you can see, they eat it. So whoever says that Irish Spring keeps mice out is totally wrong. If you got any ideas of how to keep mice out for next winter, let me know in the comments. So 
what we gotta do is I gotta clean the interior, give her a wash. I gotta do check the oil, probably spark plugs, and then hopefully we fire her up. I didn't, I forgot my laptop at home, so I hope she fires up without a little bit of tuning. So let's get to it. The reason I'm checking this is because I've seen that I have a small oil leak, which I'm going to address once I get it home and on the hoist, but for now, it looks real good. So, now we'll pull a spark plug. And see which ones I have. So, pull that first one. And we'll try it out. Yeah, so it looks like we got the same ones. So it's useless probably swapping right now. So those will be probably for the next build. Or I'll take them back. Because I'm not going to put new plugs in when I want to go there. And then for each one, each pack of two, it's like 22 bucks. So they're about $11. Uh, so, I guess we're not going to do spark plugs. I will check my brake fluid. And then it might be time to fire this thing up. Hey, boys and girls, it's time to fire up the Trans Am. The oil is good, spark plugs are the same, so we're just going to leave them until I find the ones I want. I still gotta inflate the tire on the side, but the exhaust isn't plugged. Everything, go all my checks are good. So I guess let's see if it'll fire up without the laptop.
went to Canadian Tire. Was gonna exchange the spark plugs, but it's pretty long in there for waiting in line. So I'll probably do that at a different time. But the good thing is my ball joints came for my C10 build. So now we can almost make it a roller up front. Yeah. And well, the crappy thing is when I was in C10, or when I was in Canadian Tire, it started sprinkling, raining, spitting, whatever you want to call it. And it's pretty dark that way. And it's gonna keep getting closer. So I think we're gonna shut her down. I went, I'm gonna go air up the tire, but you know, airing up tires is pretty boring. So we're gonna shut it down here. This will be the end of the video. And on the next video, we'll do some pulls. We'll talk about the car. So yeah. So I'd like to officially end the video here with just some stuff. So by the time I had got home, which about where my car is right now is about 20, 25 minutes. Uh, it started really raining, downpouring. So one, my car is pretty sketchy with the tires on it when it's dry. When you add rain to it, oh, it gets a pretty wild out there. Two, I was gonna ask if you guys like this kind of vlogging, like, you know, once in a while, talk about future projects, project goals, you know, where I wanna put the channel to, fabrication, whatever kind of thing. The other thing is, uh, right now, you've seen one vehicle, you see my C10, because of it being now summer coming here, and actually still drying out, you're going to see a lot more projects, so hit that subscribe button, there's going to be some pretty crazy projects coming out, I got the C, well, Shipbox C10 with LS Turbo, you know, it's going to be a long process, but there, I got Another project that will probably be coming out in the next couple weeks. I got my Trans Am that we're going to be doing videos on. Racing, you know, hooligan stuff. Uh, I got a couple more builds. Some diesel builds. Some diesel projects. The other thing is, do you want me to go more in depth? Like, more in depth on how-tos. Some how-to videos. Like, I got some, we got dailies here. That, you know, had gaskets, lifters. So just, if you like them, um, like the videos, comment on them what you'd like to see more. If you like these kind of vlog kind of videos, if you like more of a mixture between the vlogs and in the garage, just, you know, comment, like, subscribe. So catch you later on the next video. See you later.